Falta Harnash Gadi Fla Fest and Clore, coming to you once again from Koshnahauna, the Coltus Regional Resource Centre here in Ennis, County Clare. To start this final programme in our short series for Fla Fest 2021, we return to the archives here at Koshnahauna to bring you some fine vintage tunes from three legends of Clare music. At Fla Nua in the millennium year of 2000, three masters of the tradition came together for a wonderful concert never to be forgotten. From the stage at the Auburn Lodge in Ennis, here are Jerdy Kaman, Sonny Murray and Joe Ryan. <laughs> Harbour man Chris Droney was an icon of Clare traditional music. With his passing last year, the county lost not only an extraordinary musician, but a hugely gifted keeper of the tradition. At the Munster Fla in Ennis in 2019, Chris was joined by his family for a concert at the sold out sanctuary venue on Abbey Street. But before that, we'll see a short video about Chris compiled by Cushnahauna Archive for a tribute concert in his honour in 2013. Chris Droney was born and raised near Corkhamrow Abbey at Bell Harbour on the edge of the Burren. Inheriting a love of music from his grandfather Michael and father James, he first started playing the concertina at the age of eight, practising tunes by the light of an old oil lamp. Performing first at local house dances in the early 1950s, Chris soon brought his music to a wider audience, playing with the Bell Harbour Cayley Band, along with local musicians Sean Lanann, Joe Maher, Michael Lanann, 
Jack Daly, Tom O'Loughlin, Patrick Vaughan, Sean Nyland, and Jim Droney, his father. In later years, he would also play with other Cayley bands, including the Kilfenora, the Ballinakill, the Ockram Slopes, the Kinkora, and the Four Courts. A ten times senior All Ireland concertina champion in the 1950s and 60s, Chris has travelled the world with Coltus Coltori Aaron. Captivating audiences throughout North America and all over Britain, such is the appeal of his playing that he once performed for the Crown Prince of Japan and in recent years has found himself entertaining guests on Caribbean cruises. Over the years, Chris has produced three solo recordings of his concertina playing. The Flowing Tide, his first solo album, was released in 1962 and marked the emergence of one of the true greats of traditional Irish music. It was midway through the 1990s when his second album was released, but all agreed that it was worth the wait, as the fertile rock attracted universal acclaim. The world didn't have to wait quite so long for his third album, Down From Bell Harbour. Released in 2005, this album did not disappoint and soon became a favourite with followers of traditional music everywhere. Irish music lovers will forever be indebted to Chris Droney for this wonderful collection of music in the North Clare style, and more particularly in the Droney style, which is proudly carried on by his son Francis, his daughter Anne, and now his grandchildren. Born out of the era of the house dances, Chris Droney's music is most definitely music for the dance. Lively, vibrant and beautifully rhythmic. In the words of his good friend, Cavan fiddler Anthon McGowan, the rhythm of the music is wed to the dance, putting the beat right under the feet of the dancers themselves. Bon Soltos and mind the dresser. a strong tradition of Cayley bands and an even stronger tradition of winning All-Ireland titles in that category. The latest title was brought back to the county in 2019 when the Knuckmaguiha band from Tulla were the national winners at Flack Hill na Heron in Drogheda. On their return they thrilled a huge audience at the prize winners concert here at Cushnahauna. <laughs>
once said that Joe Burke brought magic with him wherever he went. In Ennis, we were fortunate enough to have Joe visit us many times over the years. In 1995, he performed at a Fla Nua concert with his partner Anne Conroy. Here, they played the Bonnie Bunch of Roses, followed by Paddy Kelly's Reel.
Colthus Regional Archive here at Kushna Hauna collects materials from counties Clare, Limerick, Kerry and Galway. From Galway, we bring you the whistle playing of Tony Cohn from Woodford. We recorded Tony at Finnishy's Mills near Loch Ray, where he played two reels, The Mills Are Grinding and The Milliner's Daughter. But first, we visit the Thaive Yark in Galway City, where fiddle player Tom Quinn from Balnaslow celebrated his 100th birthday in February 2019. To mark the occasion, he performed on stage with the Balnaslow Coltus Group, where they played Devani's Goat, the Galway Rambler and the London Lassies.
The prize winner's concert is a Cush na Hauna tradition where Clare musicians returning from competing in Flakyol na Heron perform for family and friends. Here are two of Clare's finest young musicians who competed in the duet section at the Fla and Drahada in 2019, Paul Farron on fiddle and Conor O'Loughlin on concertina. We've almost come to the end of our FLAFest 2021 presentation from Cush na Hauna here in Ennis, and so we'd like to leave you with something a bit special. Hunting the Ran has been a long tradition in the banner and beyond. On St Stephen's Day 2003, we visited Robbie and Maura McMahon's house in Spansel Hill to record the Ran boys and girls as they made their annual visit. Leading the Ran that day is the much-missed Pat Liddy, one of the founders of Cush na Hauna and a well-known set dancing teacher. Playing for the dancers is the late Martin Connolly with his famous Kinkora accordion, along with Dara and Ashling Mulhern. When the dancing is done, Robbie and Martin sit down together for a mighty rendition of the great big Roman ass.
at me, would you ever think that I was in me prime? Me clothes up tore and me shoes are wore and me age is 49. Oh, I had friends and pals galore, but the last those days have passed. And the only one that I am now is the poor old sugar old lass. Oh, a kind old friend and a true old pal was this all as to me. How many the night he brought me home when I was on the spree. So his only bread is badly fed, for I don't know how much grass. Here's a hair, I'm scared, I'm a devil may care, I'm a great big woman ass. I bought his ass for half a crown some twenty years ago. We chance to meet upon the street at the fair of Ballinasloe. He took me high, looked so fly with skin as smooth as glass. And shall I paid down the old bell of crown and sailed on with me as yes. Oh, a kind old friend and a true old pal was this all as to me. How many the night he brought me on when I was on the spree. Though he's highly bred, he's badly fit, for I don't own much grass. In a hair, I'm scared, I'm a devil may care, I'm a great big woman, that's Oh, I never forget the day we made at the fair of Ballinasloe. Uphill and down to a street in town. Go on! Should the pair of us did go. And to depart would break my heart for the one could take his place. And tell him what I think of him, should I think sit no disgrace. All together by myself now. Oh, I'm a kind old friend and a true old pal, with this all as from me. How oh, many is the night he brought me home when I was on his belief? So his highly bred is badly fit for Robin on John much stress. Here's a hair, I'm scared, I'm a devil may I care, I'm a roaring fine checker! I hope you have enjoyed this journey through the Cushnahauna archives, exploring our musical heritage. Slong a fall, and to borrow a phrase from Robbie McMahon's great song, The Fla Down in Ennis. So I wish you good health now and good luck from me, until we all meet in Mullingar. Slong on. <laughs>